Hi, this is Jason Molesky. In this example, we'll review how to interpret regression output. A random sample of 15 high school students was selected from the U.S. Census at School database. The foot length and height of each student in the sample was recorded in centimeters. Least squares regression was then performed on the data, and a scatter plot with regression line added, a residual plot, and some computer output from the regression are all shown below. What we want to do in this example is take a look at how to actually interpret that computer output at the bottom of the screen. First, we'll want to find the equation of the least squares regression line that describes the relationship between foot length and height. To do that, we'll want to look at the coefficient column in the output. Notice there are two numbers here. One of the coefficients is related to the constant, and the other coefficient value is related to foot length. The value related to the constant is our y-intercept, while the value related to the variable foot length is our slope. So the equation of this regression line is predicted height equals 103.41 plus 2.7469 times foot length. Another way to write this would be height hat equals 103.41 plus 2.7469 foot length or y hat equals 103.41 plus 2.7469 times x. If you're going to write it with x's and y's though, make sure you remember to actually define what x and y stand for in the context of the problem. Next, let's interpret the slope of this regression line in context. Our slope is 2.7469. Recall that the slope tells us the predicted amount of increase or decrease for a one unit increase in x. So in the context of this problem, we'd say for each additional centimeter of foot length, the least squares regression line would predict an increase of 2.7469 centimeters in height. Now let's find the correlation. Correlation can be found by taking the square root of r squared. We want r, not r squared, and we can see in our output here that we're actually given an r squared value of 48.6%. So taking the square root, we have positive or negative square root of 0.486, or positive or negative 0.697. Since our slope is positive, we know that there's a positive association between x and y, therefore our correlation should be positive. So for this example, r equals 0.697. Finally, we want to know whether or not a line is an appropriate model to use for these data. We can't tell that by looking at the computer output, so we'll want to take a look at the scatter plot and the residual plot. Looking at these two, we can see that the scatter plot does show a linear association overall, and the residual plot doesn't have any obvious leftover patterns, so we can say that a line is an appropriate model to use for these data. For some additional practice in interpreting computer output, try exercise 59.